Aloha friends, Helen with Floating Yoga School on the big island in a beautiful setting to bring a class for you today. We're gonna to focus on finding clarity, finding direction, figuring out what it is that you want, what you need. Maybe it's inspiration, maybe it's making a decision. I know I've had moments recently where I just can't seem to figure out which way to go with whatever thing I'm thinking about. And so finding a little bit of clarity and focus today. We're gonna to start in child's pose. Knees can be wide or together. Arms stretch out in front, relax your forehead down. And as we're here in this child's pose, your third eye center, that space between your eyebrows, is resting on your mat. It's a nice center of intuition, your third eye chakra, wisdom. And we'll start to put a little pressure here, just by virtue of being in this shape, to start to activate that feeling of focus that sense of focused attention. And if you haven't yet, start to deepen and lengthen your breath. And maybe turn on ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. Stay low to the ground, walk your hands all the way to your right, let your hips lean a little bit left, still in that child's pose, but finding a side stretch. And then pass through center, take it all the way to the other side. Bring it back to center. Lift to hands and knees, tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, spread your fingers wide, hips right above your knees. Inhale to cow pose, drop your belly, send your heart forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale to cat, press round, scoop. And then move like that a couple times. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Come back toward neutral. Find a puppy pose, walk your hands forward, drop your forehead toward your mats. So maybe not the full extended puppy pose you can often take, it's still super early in our practice. But again, finding that connection, third eye center to the earth, creating a sense of groundedness, a sense of connection to our roots, to maybe find a little clarity in your purpose, in your decision, whatever it is that may resonate with you. Walk your hands back. Take it to downward facing dog. Lift your hips to the sky. And feel free to move around. Pedal out your feet. Sway a little side to side. Create stillness. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Again, deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of your space and create a ragdoll shape. Feet wide, hold opposite elbows. Sway a little side to side, let your head and neck dangle. Relax your hands down, lift halfway, breathe in. As you exhale, plant your right fingertips or right palm below your face. Bend your right knee, take your left arm to the sky. Full breath in, find length. Big breath out, twist a little deeper. Gently unwind, halfway lift, breathe in. Other side, left knee bends, left hand down, right arm up. Move your shoulders out of your ears, find that length. Breathe in and breathe it out. Halfway lift once more. And exhale, fold. Heel toe your feet in toward each other so they're about hip distance. And then roll through your spine to come to standing. Knees bent, head is the last thing to arrive. At the top, shrug your shoulders up, back and down. A few times here, mine are super crunchy. And then we'll create stillness. Palms face forward. 
mountain or equal standing pose. This is often called samasiti hi, equal standing, or tadasana, mountain. Eyes can be soft or closed. Just notice how you're feeling right now. Physically, what's going on. Mentally, energetically, maybe what you have coming ahead in your day, weeks, months, whatever it is. What comes to mind? And where could you use a little clarity? Maybe a little focus. Blink your eyes open if they're closed. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Reach your hands back, lift your heart, lift your chin. As you exhale, fold over your legs, belly to thighs, knees bend a lot. Peel your arms off your back, just as much as your shoulders allow. One more round of breath. Release your hands down toward the ground. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down. Step just your right foot back. Lower your right knee down. Reach both arms to the sky. Breathe in. Interlace your fingers. Flip your palms up. Breathe out. Try to lift up through your hands. Lift up through the crown of your head. And then maybe gently sink yourself forward. Finding more of a stretch through your hip flexors. But keep your right glutes engaged. Your pelvis neutral. And of course, keep breathing. Hopefully you're somewhere with beautiful fresh air. And breathing in that clarity. One more breath. Release your grip. Crawl your left toes a little bit forward and then shift your weight back for a half split. So left knee can be pretty bent. I've got these flies wanting to bug me. You can have your spine long. You can always be more upright. Breathe here. Rebend into your front knee. Adjust as you like. I like my ankle right below my knee. Right palm plants, left arm to the sky for a twist. Slide your shoulders back, lengthen your spine. One more breath in. And exhale, release your hand down. Step back to a side plank on your right side. I'm going to take it on my knee, so I'm just going to pivot my right foot off to the side. Step left foot back. You're welcome to come to the outer edge of your right foot. Stack your hips and shoulders. Lift your hips. Maybe you look up in your drishti, your gaze toward your hand. Well, the clouds might inspire you. And then slowly release it down. Tabletop position, knees down. Take a cow and cats to move through your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your tailbone, drop your belly, heart forward. Exhale, cat, scoop round, press it away. One more, breathe in. And breathe it out. Come back to neutral. We'll step it back to a high plank, so hands a little forward. Walk your feet back. Feel free to stay on your knees if that feels better. Little shift forward, inhale. Lower to your belly, exhale. Try to hug your elbows by your sides. Take it slowly. And then three baby cobras. Peel your chest off the ground. Hug your elbows in. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Press it back. Child's pose. Again, knees together. If you prefer knees um, apart, I'm taking mine apart, I should say. <laughs> you can always take yours together. Forehead down. Find that connection to the earth. And maybe this time you walk your palms together, bend your elbows, and bring your hands toward the back of your head like a little reverse prayer in your child's pose. Just notice what comes up here. Release your hands. Make your way to downward facing dog. I think so often we rush through decisions. We want things to be super black and white, super obvious. And for me, a lot of clarity comes when I slow down, 
where I let my mind quiet or just notice what's going on in my mind. When I think about the things that are bringing me joy, that speak to my core values. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step or hop to your hands, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. This time we'll take a little tree right and left before we move to our left side, stepping back. Shift your weight to your left foot. Bring your right foot up, ankle, calf, or thigh. And don't overthink it. Just pick one and go there. Press your foot into your leg, your leg into your foot. That equal and opposite energy. And then same idea, root down through your standing leg. Reach up through the crown of your head. So you're both grounded and connected to something greater. Maybe you float your arms to the sky, look up, or even close your eyes. And maybe it's letting yourself get off balance that helps you refine that balance, reconnect to what it means to be balanced. One more breath. Release it out, shake it out, and we'll take it to the other side. Wait into your right foot. Left foot comes up, find your tree pose, Frikshasana. You choose where and how it looks. Press in to that center line, midline of your body. Press down through your standing leg, up through the crown of your head, and then maybe you play with arm variations. Notice what it feels like to be balanced if you're feeling balanced. Notice what it feels like how you react if you're out of balance. Are you feeling upset or angry or reactive? Or maybe accepting? I have a sense of humor about it. We'll release it out, shake it out. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, dive forward. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back this time, lower your knee down. Reach both arms to the sky. This time, interlace your fingers, point your finger up. You can cross your thumbs and think of reaching up. Engage your left glutes. Maybe you sink a little bit forward with your hips. Breathe into the front of your hip flexor. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Crawl your right toes forward. Shift your right back. Find that half split shape. Knee as bent as you'd like spine long. Breathe here. One more round of breath. We bend into your right knee. Adjust as you need. Left palm down, right arm up. I've got the wind all of a sudden here. Some powerful energy moving through. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Step back to that side plank on your left this time. I'm not even going to try to control it, <laughs> which is hard for me either on your knee as I am or on the outer edge of your foot. Stack your hips and shoulders. Breathe into your side body. Deep breath in. Exhale, release to tabletop. Two rounds of cow and cats. Move with your breath. Find your rhythm. So however long you've been practicing yoga, whatever you consider yourself as far as a yogi practitioner, a lot of times it's when we can find kind of the freedom in our movement that we start to trust ourselves. So here in your tabletop, explore more cow and cat, maybe some barrel rolls with your chest, maybe some movement onto your hands. And it's okay to not know. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's also okay to make stuff up. So just notice what your body needs, what it feels like. Let that fuel that idea of focus, of clarity.
clarity. We'll meet in downward facing dog. This may be a futile attempt on my part to keep my little mat flat. Bring your feet out wide so they come to the outer edges of your mat if you're on a standard yoga mat or a little bit wider in the hip distance if you're on a wide towel like me. Hands can come a little bit closer to your feet. We're going to add a twist. Right hand toward your left leg. It's okay if it touches down. If it reaches your knee, maybe it reaches your ankle. Release. And then switch. Twist to your right. Left hand to your right leg somewhere or in that direction. And release your hands. Keep your feet wide. We're going to step or hop to a squat malasana. Heels and toes out. Sit low. Working into your low back, your hips, your pelvis. Engage your core. Center of confidence, of personality. Also connected to that intuition, your gut knowledge, your gut intuition, gut knowing. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift your hips, sweep your hands between your legs, let your head and neck relax. So we're going to move through that fast or slow inhale to a seat into that squat, malasana. Exhale to this forward fold variation, uttanasana. Maybe it's fast. You can add a breath of fire, kind of a pumping breath, a forceful exhale, <laughs> passive inhale. You don't have to do that if that feels wild or crazy or super uncomfortable. Get clear on what's going to work for you. One more. Back to your squat and then take it to forward fold, ragdoll once more. Hands hold opposite elbows, sway, move around. Let your hands release, heel toe your feet in toward each other. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Inhale, rise, arms sweep high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. We're gonna work on balance once more, this time coming to eagle pose, right and left. So sitting first into a chair, and then take your right arm below your left. Hold opposite shoulders or connect your palms, Garudasana, right thigh up and over your left. Notice where your gaze is. Maybe toes tap down, maybe you wrap, maybe you play with how deep you go. Find balance, move out of it, come back. See where in your life you have balance, where you're seeking a little bit more balance, and where that might help you, again, find that clarity. What do you need? What do you want? What inspires you? What brings you joy? Release it out. Shake it out. I'm very clear that that was intense for me. <laughs> And then we'll take it to the other side, starting into your chair. Left arm below this time, or whatever side you didn't do. Hold opposite shoulders or connect your palms. Left leg up and over. We can focus so much on the little bits. What is the alignment like? What am I supposed to be doing? And we pay attention less to what's actually happening for us. What are our internal experiences? So I encourage you to shift your awareness here. Worry less about what I'm doing, what you feel like you should be doing, and more about what's happening inside. Can you tune in? Get clear on you. And when that feels like it enough, shake it out. Arms float high, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands down. Step back, high plank, upper push up. Hold it here. Deep breath in, shift forward. Lower to your belly slowly all the way down. This time, hands come back by your hips, palms flat. So your fingertips are pointing back, your thumbs are out. Begin to lift your chest. 
Lift your feet if that's comfortable in your low back. And then tuck your chin slightly so your neck is long. A variation on locust, shalabhasana. Another deep breath in. Lower down slowly. You can bring your chin or forehead down. You can turn your head to one side. We're gonna do one more like that. You can stay hands flat. Bring your, your head back to neutral or you can interlace your fingers. Peel your chest first. Notice how that feels in your low back and then lift your feet. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Head to the other side. Send breath into your back body. Press back to a child's pose, hips to heels. I'm going to take my knees together this time for real. <laughs> Hands wrap around my legs. You can do that or the regular balasana, extended balasana variation. Arms out in front. Let breath move into your back. One more round. We'll take this to tabletop into a thread the needle. Right arm high, breathe in. Thread to your left. Just drop your shoulder down, the side of your head down. Left hand can stay, stretch forward, wrap around. Try to pull your left hip back and recenter your hips. And slowly unwind. Left hand by your face, unthread right arm out and up. Release, switch sides. Left arm high, breathe in. Thread to your right. Shoulder down, head down. Right hand can stay, reach, wrap. Pull your right hip back. And then unwind. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. We're going to end today in a seated position. You are more than welcome to come on your back if you prefer. If you're taking a seat, this can look like anything. You could be cross-legged. You could be on your shins. You could bring your palms facing up on your legs or down, or even have your hands to your heart. I encourage you to close your eyes or soften your gaze. And to again, turn inward. Notice what you're feeling physically, mentally, energetically. What do you think about when I say the word clarity? Can you visualize a clear, sunny day? Can you visualize clear, turquoise water? Maybe a clear crystal. Maybe clear, bright eyes of someone you love. Where in your life do you have clarity? Do you feel strongly and resolute about something? What do you know to be true for you? And where are there maybe murky areas, areas of gray that you're working through, that you're unsure of? We will all always have those. Maybe you can breathe a little clarity, some of that energy you just visualized into those areas.
Take two more rounds of breath. And you can stay here as long as you like. You can start to reawaken. If you chose to lie down, maybe come to a seat slowly. If you're with me already seated, add some movement. A full stretch. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Take a moment to pause and to thank yourself for moving, breathing, being present. I thank you as always for joining me. We'll bow our heads together in silence. Please don't be a stranger, share your requests. I love to hear from you and I hope to practice again with you soon. Aloha.